Just off I-40 near Waverly, you may have seen signs for the Log Cabin Restaurant. Well, the Davis family has been cooking up good old-fashioned country food since 1966. Laura Faber went to see what all the fuss was about, and you know, she says she still stuff from lunch. We're in uh, Hurricane Mills, a little town called Buffalo, at the Log Cabin Restaurant. The kind of food you serve. Country food. And it is. Yep, soul food, good country soul food that you would eat at your grandmother's table. Wade Davis should know. He's been eating this food his whole life. I grew up with it, but I grew up eating good food. And i have all over the country, it's hard to find a place that has, you know, just you sit down and you have a, oh my gosh, this is good. This is like I would cook, my mother would cook for me at home or my grandmother would cook, you know, when we had a family get together. His family has run the Log Cabin restaurant since 1966. They also used to own the motel next door. My grandfather had this bright idea that he was gonna, he told my dad, said, boy, I got a good idea. We're gonna buy this piece of property here and build us a motel and we'll sell it. And then we'll have a place to go stay when we go fishing. Well, when you had a motel back then, you had to have a restaurant because this was only, th there was nothing here besides the old Skinner store. So they bought the old, it was an old log cabin. Wade is now the owner and general manager, though he started working here at 12. I used to cry to go to work. Uh, and it, my dad let me start working when I was 12. I started at the motel when I was 12, doing maintenance, cleaning parking lots, whatever, you know, whatever, washing windows, cleaning air conditioners, you know, you name it, mowing grass. And then 13, I was working there and then get off there and come here and wash dishes. And then 14, I was waiting tables. 15, I was bread, uh, you know, all the way up to being a manager. The menu is loaded with country cuisine. The most popular thing here is probably catfish. We sell more catfish than we do anything. The fried chicken is also a favorite. So is the meatloaf, chicken livers, pasta dishes, and the ribs sell too. Lee Story has worked in the kitchen since 1993. Put apple juice on them. Just about two cups. Yeah, they're really good. And we tip them to where they're like 180, give or take. And we put the the round side down on them. While the log cabin attracts tons of tourists traveling up and down I-40, locals have made this place their own too, like Helen, Delilah, and Peggy. Today I have the vegetable plate. I've got green beans, I've got corn, and I've got okra and cornbread. We live in Waverly and we come probably once a month. It's just a very comfortable place to be in. Great food and great service and it's just part of our home. Yeah. I have the fried chicken and green beans and okra. Okay, and you're, is that usually what you That's get? That's what I usually get. I grew up here. I grew up half a mile up the road, and I'd ride my bike to work. I know most everybody in the community, and what, you know, they tell me all the time, stopped in there, ate, it was great. And I tell them, look, you know, if something's wrong, let me know. <laughs> I've got a whole country of restaurant critics. <laughs> I got Everything is homemade, and you can tell. We put sugar in our cornbread. Makes it so good. Is that the key? Sour, no, sour cream. The sour cream keeps it moist. The sky-high meringue on the pies is the work of head baker Donna Green. She's been here since 97. For every six pies, it, it's three cups of coconut. The coconut's my favorite. Meringue is the big part. It takes a case of eggs to do 12 pies, literally. Right, and if you get any yelling in it, forget it. It's not gonna work. Leroy! Miss Donna makes 15 to 20 pies a day and they all sell out. Smells so good. No wonder we sell so many. They really are good. Everything you eat at the Log Cabin restaurant, from the desserts to the food, is homemade and comes from recipes that the Davis family has enjoyed for generations. And they don't keep it secret. You can actually go home with a cookbook full of those family recipes.
Yummies. Cook with a smile, serve with a smile, uh, cook with love, it always makes the food taste better. Whether it's the okra, roast beef, potatoes and gravy, the catfish, sweet potato casserole, collard greens, or the homemade coleslaw, it is the food and the people that keep customers coming back. Seeing customers happy, smile when they leave, full, taking to go plates, taking a dessert to go, uh, and, and hearing about it all over the country. You know, when I travel, everybody says, yeah, I've ate there. Uh, I know where you're from. I've ate at a restaurant called Log Cabin Restaurant. Thank you for your business. You want it? And yeah, they're like, oh. I eat there all the time. Every time I come through, they will plan their vacations, plan their trips to stop here on the way and stop on the way home. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.